The Marlins are rolling right now, at least as of very late. They're coming off of a three-game sweep against the Washington Nationals in Miami, and there were a ton of positives. On Tuesday, it was the Jazz Chisholm show, as he hit two home runs, including a grand slam and a 12-2 win. The second game was all Sandy Alcantara, throwing nine scoreless innings while striking out six, lowering his season ERA to 1.61 as the Marlins squeaked out an extra innings win. As for the third game of the series, it was a little bit of everyone, as Trevor Rogers finally had a solid outing, with four of the first six hitters in the Marlins lineup getting two hits, and the first six hitters all getting at least one hit in a 7-4 win. Prior to the series, Marlins manager Don Mattingly held a team meeting, and I guess it's safe to say that it kind of worked out, at least for now. But with that being said, it wasn't the type of team meeting you typically hear about where it's a rah-rah speech trying to get the boys fired up. Mattingly held this team meeting because he wanted his players to air their frustrations out loud. Players were reportedly talking behind each other's backs, and Jazz Chisholm, the most popular player on the Marlins, was apparently at the front and center of it all. In my last video about this team meeting between the Marlins, I mentioned that I heard some info from an anonymous reporter who told me there was tension among the team with some guys questioning attitude and work ethic. And that is what has since been reported to the public. According to Andy Slater, a talk show host and on-air personality based in Miami, these were the three big things that were discussed during the team meeting on Tuesday evening before the game. Work ethic, effort on and off the field, and how some players dress going to the ballpark. We then got some more info. According to MLB insider John Heyman, Jazz Chisholm was the subject for criticism in this team meeting and is being compared to Dennis Rodman. Fans love Jazz Chisholm, at least most of them do, and most importantly, the young fans love him. Yeah, he's a good baseball player, but he's also fun to watch, has flair, has some drip, and is just an all-around really cool guy. With that being said, some of the players aren't necessarily as excited as fans are about his style and way of playing the game. Prior to the team meeting, and partly the reason why Mattingly held it in the first place, Marlins players were reportedly criticizing Jazz behind his back. What is this? Mean Girls? This type of immature high school drama is absurd to me. If you don't like something about your own teammate, you say it face to face to him. You're all on the same side here, so maybe act like it. According to John Heyman, someone suggested his teammates may be jealous, and I could totally see that. But then again, that's very immature and ridiculous to be jealous. It's also ridiculous that Jazz was a big point of criticism in that team meeting at all, considering he's been the Marlins' second best hitter this season only behind Garrett Cooper. If you're going to criticize anybody, Jazz is the last person to be showing any sort of animosity towards. Maybe criticize the bullpen, which has blown eight games this year, or everyone in the rotation besides Sandy Alcantara and Pablo Lopez. We don't know who exactly were the ones criticizing Chisholm, maybe it was those bullpen guys or some in the rotation, maybe the other hitters, whatever. The bottom line is that nobody should be talking behind anyone's back. This is Major League Baseball, and Jazz Chisholm is one of the only reasons the Marlins get a few people attending games to begin with. Why get mad at him? Like I said to start off this video, the Marlins are on a little streak right now, so maybe that meeting that was kind of negative will be a big turning point for them, or not. Time will tell, but one thing is clear, and that is the fact that Jazz Chisholm is the least of the Marlins' worries.